Okay, you know why you spun? My breath. Yeah? <laughs> it's a lot. You're more aggressive. You're being a bit more aggressive with your inputs. Slow your hands down a bit. You're like, it's nice and smooth with the hands in these. Joe is a creator and athlete with no racing experience, and Alec is a professional racing driver and coach. In one year, Alec is going to guide Joe on a journey from no experience to his professional racing license, taking Joe on a journey from rookie to pro. So tomorrow I'm going to take one of my best friends, Joe, out to the racetrack. He has been along with me for this journey for over a decade, and he's helped me solidify this idea of coaching and how you can take a driver from knowing nothing to knowing something and we're going to start that process tomorrow at our go-kart track houston karting complex here north of houston i was reflecting on how absolutely wild of an opportunity this is if someone offers you the opportunity to learn how to drive a race car on a track that you just can't pass up. Probably say just go do five laps. So just take it slow for the first two laps or so. Just build up to it, you know, don't yeah. go out and yeah. send it. No, I've been behind the wheel of my own car and some go-karts and some UTVs and some dirt bikes. Um, and I know that that will help. Yeah. You're good. difference between being a good driver on the street or thinking that you're a good driver on the street and actually going around a racetrack quickly uh, is, is a big difference. What we're going to do is just start where anyone else would start, where I would recommend them to start, and that's with a go-kart. I am excited to do this series with you. This is going to be a lot of fun. That was so much faster than I thought it was going to be. Really? Like, like not, the sensation of speed? Yeah, the sensation of speed yeah. specifically. because you're so low to the ground. Yeah. Like, it was... I felt naked. <laughs> I, I broke a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, it The cart went faster than I was willing to. Yeah, for sure. Um, which I'd never experienced in a go-kart, you know, it's always like, go faster, go faster, go faster. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah. Out the gates, so hot. I think for the first time, that's a pretty solid start. How, what were those lap times? Uh, based on what it says here, it's a, a, one, a minute and one second. I'm not sure exactly what a good reference lap would be. I feel like 48, 49 has been where I've been on this track with this cart before. So like, if you were to go out in the cart tomorrow, yeah. set a time, and then I go out and set a time, yeah. I would say that you're like 33% faster. Maybe 50, maybe 50. No, I, I, I think 33% I is think a reasonable, okay. reasonable number. I, I love I this because we'll be able to overlay this tomorrow, be like, okay, well I was wrong. <laughs>
first of all, did you beat me? Yeah, I beat you. <laughs> it was right what he expected, 48.6 versus 101.5. Seven laps versus 17 laps. This is, this is what I do with most people, right, when I'm coaching them, is I go out and I'll set like a reference lap for us to compare to. But if we get our comparison here, so 48.6, 101.5, uh, so that's where we ran today. If we go into the screen here, we can see the different, you know, these are kind of the more important things of the lap. So our high RPM at the top here, our low RPM at the bottom, our high speed at the top, and our low speed at the bottom. So RPM 14.6, that's about what these run, between 14 and, and 15,000. Uh, so all the high RPMs here are good. The low RPM, you want it to be above like 6,500 RPM. These are kind of the, the things that we can really like dive into. If we exit and go to yours, we see top RPM 6,000, bottom RPM 2,300, top speed 47, low speed 17. These are just training tools so we can look at like after the session, this is your feedback and say, okay, how did I do on keeping my minimum R RPM up? So that's like the engine speed, right? So how, how did I do on that, on, on my minimum speed? So there's much more rolling speed essentially that you can take through most of the corners. This is all like, there's, there's going to be a lot of things that you want to like try and do really well, I, all I want you to think about when you're out there is where that limit is with the brake. Okay. You don't want to slam it like what we talked about because that happens with you spinning. But really that brake and just getting it on the limit, it's called threshold braking. You're braking at the threshold limit of grip of the tire. So you want to have that threshold braking as you're coming down to the apex. And that's like really just getting the part. So it has a nice rotation with the rear. And so when you get your hands straight, basically, all right, I'll give it a shot. One of the most common questions that I get is, how do I get into racing? How do I get started? And the goal that I have for this series is to show people how at any level, how you can get started in racing, uh, whether or not that's doing it as a career, doing it as a passion, doing it as a hobby. This is a way that you can get out on track and compete at some level. There's something really special about the process of feeling completely foreign with something. I found that specifically the learning process has the most growth in it. We've got a high goal of getting Joe a pro racing license. I'd say it takes at least a year. You know, that's if everything goes right and we have all the time to dedicate to it. We're gonna probably maybe jump through some steps quickly and try and make it happen within a year. So basically we took Joe, put him in a go-kart for the first time, a uh, competition kart for the first time. What was your impression? That was mentally and physically tolling, but really cool to see specifically that the first 17 laps, I think it was like 101. 101 was the quickest, yeah. Um, and if I would have kept going with zero input, I might've been able to drop that down by like maybe a second but after getting some input from Alec, talking about strategy and what's the right word? Car control. Car control, going around the track, and I was able to drop to... 54 second lap. 54 so like seven second seconds. Seven seconds off? Yeah. 
um, in the first two sessions. I think it, I think it went well. Yeah. For reference, in a pro race, what I would race in, the percentage cutoff for the lap time that you can run to be included in the field is 110%. So I need to improve by 23% in one year to get a pro license. That's pretty close. To cap it all off, we went from 101 to 54. I ran a 48 second lap. So we cut it basically in half, the difference between the two of us, which I think is a great place to start. You know, we talked a bit about what the expectation was for percentage differences and where we could get in a year. So I think uh, that number may be a little bit closer than what you think. We've got some work to do. Uh, I think the next step is to jump in the sim and spend some time virtually racing. All right, Dan. Good shit. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, go, go fast. fast. <laughs> On the next episode of Rookie to Pro. I just crashed the computer. <laughs> this is this is a lot more there we go. than I expected. <laughs> <laughs>